Hello everyone, we're raring to go. Our venue for this game is the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Bournemouth facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre-forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Ruben Dias plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Mateo Kovacic in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And now they get the ball rolling. Mateo Kovacic and a fine tackle now look at this they might be able to cash in here Lewis now with Silva well a swift challenge and a throw in coming up into the advanced position and options in the centre a very timely interception. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what... Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Gundogan, individual brilliance. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. Bournemouth struggling to keep possession. Able to get a body in the way. Evan Nilsson. A danger here as he runs at them. Gundogan Will they get themselves level here? And that's what they needed Manchester City A goal to level matters here Well just look at how poor the defending is here But I have to say it's still a very tidy finish He looked really assured there Well, they had to dig in, but just look what that means to Pep. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Tavernier, can they nudge in front? And a goal it is to put them in front again! No less than they deserve!
Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. It is a decent looking attack here. And looking towards the back post. Well, not away properly. Threat over for now, it seems. Silva. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the Vitality Stadium. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, he has to find space in more dangerous areas. He's such a good player around the box, but today he struggled to get on the ball. And that's one of the reasons they're losing here. The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Chance to cross. Determined defending. Says they need a boost. Will they get one from this corner? Let's see about the delivery. Could still be dangerous. Bernardo Silva. A oh, tremendous vision. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can keep possession now. Very quick thinking there. Please, can you go to reception if you've lost your key? Christie. Clivert. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And Edison has somehow kept it out. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Mateo Kovacic to be replaced by number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. And he's fired over the corner. It might still be problematic. Zabarnyi. Can he put it in? Vital intervention. Clivet. Now oh, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. And a substitution in the offing. And possibilities here. The supporters want to see him have a go. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Senesi. Opportunity! And keeping it out. De Bruyne. Gundogan. De Bruyne now. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Kevin De Bruyne. It's with Gundogan. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again.
A change in the offing for City. He's driven in the corner. Well, getting the timing completely wrong there, it must be said. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He mistimes it and it ends up being a poor finish. And they will make the change now. Time is against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Well, the corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not away completely. Foden. Now he must favour the cross. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Gundogan. Plenty of support here. And played in. Well, not cleared away completely. Promising looking ball. And there's the final whistle, the big headline defeat for City. What did you make of this? Yes, Derek, they were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today. 